Yoga and Ayurveda are gradually but slowly seeping in because the system is failing. The external approach can no longer carry you through to give you your health. In our healthcare system, we have five chronic diseases. Heart disease is number one, the biggest killer. Cancer, strokes, chronic obstructive pulmonary diseases. These relate to respiratory and breathing. And the fifth is diabetes. Diabetes is a lifestyle disease. How you live your day, how you eat, what you do, do you exercise, how you work, the type of work that you do. 125 million Americans, almost 50% is living with one of these. Total healthcare expenditures are estimated now at 2.16 trillion in the United States. The majority of that money was used to treat illnesses caused by stress. This has become the biggest factor of all our health issues, stress. We've divorced the mind and the body. And in the West, you're taught to heal the body, treat the body, right? But the mind can do anything else, right? Go on with your habits, go on with your eating patterns, go on with the environment and the people that you spend time with. It has nothing to do with why your digestion is working that way. It has nothing to do with the cancer. It has nothing to do with the diabetes. Treating the physical body is sort of a vicious cycle because every time you treat the disorder of the physical body, it always comes back because you're never getting to the root. When most Americans go to the gym, they'll get on a machine or they'll start running on a treadmill or do exercises. But what is their mind doing? Their mind is being distracted by a TV screen and their mind is being distracted by music. So the mind is in another place. So mechanically the body is doing a robotic motion, but the mind is somewhere else being stimulated to motivate the body. This is a huge issue. In yoga, OMD, Oriental Medicine, Chinese acupuncture, all the ancient Eastern systems say connect mind, body, and how? Breath. Both practices, yoga and Ayurveda, explain to us how we can heal on that level. So the perspective of yoga and Ayurveda is that we're all basically small replicas of a vast universe. You are no different than what exists outside. Do not create separation from the universe, from nature. You are nature. Millions of people in this city, how many have a little plot of grass in their yard? If we educate a number of people in our city, let's say a million, and a million of those people start planting some seeds in their yard, growing herbs, growing vegetables. And now they start growing their own apothecary. A good friend of mine who's a doctor, he was at uh, Yale giving a talk on Ayurveda, had 50 MDs in the room. He put out 10 basic herbs and spices on a table. And he said, can anybody identify any of these spices. One doctor came forward and identified turmeric. One. The rest of them had no clue what any of the spices were on the table. So our medical doctors have no connection to herbs, to plants. How, and, and these are the people that are trying to heal us, right? And then you've got the drug companies sort of paying the doctors for recommending the drugs. So we really have to bring this back to a real organic level. I'm trying to teach people how to live and how to go inside. I'm not interested in teaching somebody how to mechanically take you through a series of postures. You're becoming another exercise routine. Let's not limit yoga to that. 
I want you to change your life and change the way in which you live your life. And in that way, you'll change the world. Oh, no, no.